Hello and welcome to lesson number two of building master code online. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and get your um, dependencies set up to uh, build this Django application. So uh, first things first, let's go ahead and open up our terminal or command prompt. And what we want to do is make sure we have a version of Python 3 on your machine. Um, and the reason why we need Python 3 uh, well, we could use Python 2, but I prefer Python 3, um, since it's the newer of the two. Um, anyhow, uh, the reason why you need Python on your computer is because Django is built on top of Python. So, for us to work with Django, we need Python. All right. So, let's go ahead and check if you have Python installed. The uh, easiest way to do this is open your terminal and type in Python-V. Uh, a little ESPN music for you. Um, and I got Python 2.7. Well, I got two versions of Python on my computer. If I do Python 3-V, capital V that is, I got Python 3.6. Okay, so I do uh, Python 3.6.1 is the latest version of Python as of today. Uh, June... June something 2017. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so I got the latest version of Python. All right. If you don't have Python 3.6, well, let's go ahead and go get it. Uh, the easiest way to get it is open up your uh, browser and go to python.org. And somewhere around here is the download button. All right. In your menu, hover it and go over to the Python 3.6.1 button, click on that, and that's going to start your download. Once that is done, done downloading the package, click on it again to open up the visual installer, and we're going to go ahead and install this extremely quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, you get the introduction. You can read all this if you want, and the the preceding pages you can read them as well I'm just gonna hit continue 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 agree continue install add my password boom and now it's installing I'm gonna pause the video alright so my uh, Python installation is done when I see installation was successful I have uh, finish downloading it and installing it. Well, let's go back to our terminal. Let's make sure you have it. So once again, do uh, Python dash capital V. You should either see Python 2 or Python 3.6. We're looking for Python 3.6 uh, or Python 3 dash V. And there we go. Python 3.6.1. Now we can move on. I'm going to clear my screen with command K. All right. Um, Next thing I want to do is we want to get a virtual environment. And what a virtual environment does is it creates a, creates a virtual environment, but it creates an environment where we can isolate our project from installing packages that may interfere with the main packages on our computer. Or if you're working with multiple Django projects in this case, um, in, installing dependencies will not interfere with the other projects. So we want to go ahead and get a package called virtual EMV. Uh, so let's go ahead and do pip install virtual env and you can go ahead and hit return uh, in my case I think I need pip 3 since I have python 3 to get to my python 3.6 I need pip 3 install virtual env and I hit enter or return, and this should install the latest version of virtual env. If you notice, mine says requirements are already satisfied because I use it all the time. All right, uh, cool. Uh, next thing let's do is uh, open up your finder or um, however you navigate your folders. Go to desktop, and let's create a new folder on here. Let's do a new folder and we're going to call it Django. This is where we're going to put all our Django projects from now on. Uh, keep them all in one place and easy to find and access. Okay. Um, now back to our terminal. Let's go ahead and change into our Django directory. To do this, let's do a cd 
depending on where you're at, uh, right now I'm in my main user file. We do cd desktop uh, forward slash Django, just like that. We can list out, see if anything's in there. There's no no files in there. Cool. Um, now let's go ahead and create our virtual environment itself. Since we create, uh, since we installed the package virtual EMV, and to do this, we're going to do um, virtual EMV, and we're going to call our virtual environment environment master for master code online. That's what we're building, so we're going to call it master. So what this is doing is creating a directory that contains uh, uh, Python 3.6 and its dependencies. So now we're going to have uh, two versions of Python 3.6 on your computer. All right. Um, now, virtual environment is not actually technically active until we activate it. Um, and once you activate it, then it will contain all the files in that directory but until then we have to activate it so let's go ahead and do that let's uh list out our uh files and directories in our django directory now and we just see master so let's go ahead and change in the master cd change directory master now it's listed out again and now we see we got bin include lib all right so include and lib have to do with the uh the installation of Python and its dependencies. Pip self check has to do with uh, pip um, when we're using pip to install things like up here, pip3. And then um, bin has to do with the virtual environment itself. Okay. So let's do source, whoops, that's not how you spell source, source bin forward slash activate or. Um, script forward slash activate for Windows users. So this is for uh, Mac and Linux or Unix. And this is for Windows to activate our uh, virtual environment. All right, source bin activate. And if you notice on the left hand side, we got uh, our parentheses master and that indicates we are in our virtual environment. So what we, did today was uh, make sure we had uh, Python installed. We have the latest version of Python. We set up a directory to hold all our future Django projects. We set up a virtual environment to contain our master code online project. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and download and uh, install Django. We're going to go ahead and create our Django project and we'll take a look at it. Um, in action. Uh, basically, we're just going to fire it up and take a look and make sure it works. If we get to that point, we're moving along uh, pretty good. So, see you in the next tutorial. <clears throat>